Hi everybody, I am Mike the Heal Your Gut Guy and today we're going to talk about how to identify and neutralize tracks uh, and, and this is from a German, this is from German New Medicine, uh, tracks. And now if you're suffering from Crohn's or colitis, you cannot heal from Crohn's or colitis if you do not identify these things. It is literally impossible. You can do everything else correct. It is impossible to heal from Crohn's and colitis and a lot of your other digestive issues if you do not understand tracks and you do not know how to identify them and neutralize them. It is very easy. This is like something you can do from like the comfort of your own couch. It is very easy to heal your gut if you understand this. It is impossible to heal your gut if you don't understand this. Literally, when I, when I understood this, and it's very easy, it's just gonna take me a few minutes to explain, I went from being stuck on a boring, bland diet to eating whatever I want in days. Super easy. Super, super, super easy. So first we have to understand what a track is. So tracks get established at the moment of the DHS, at the moment of the conflict shock, the, this, this shocking event that turned on our significant biological program, a uh, special program of the gut, let's say with the small intestine or the colon, that you get this indigestible morsel, or maybe it's the greater curvature of the stomach. So we have this indigestible morsel conflict that, um, that we experience it as an indigestible morsel. Let's say we, get, you know, we thought we did really well on a test and then we get it back and there's a big fat F on it for failure. I lived in a state where they would give you an E. It's kind of stupid. But anyways, um, so this is something that could potentially catch someone off guard. For, for some people, like the class clown or whatever, they could just be like, whatever, school's stupid anyway. Or, you know, some, you know, straight A student, you know, this, they get this, you know, oh my God, I'm no longer valedictorian. Oh my God, I'm going to be digging ditches for the rest of my life. Uh, you know, this could be a very stressful event that catches people off guard. You know, this happens in college. I mean, that could be like thousands of dollars out the window. You know, you could lose your scholarship. Like this could be a very stressful event for somebody. So what's, what's instantly going to happen when this happens is... Uh, the brain is in this hyper state of awareness. So it's going to pick up on other uh, components in the environment. So, so what are some things that are in the environment at the moment this stressful situation is unfolding? So it might pick up on the color red. It might pick up on the letter F. Maybe we're science. Maybe we're, maybe this is like a grammar test. So maybe like anytime something grammar related comes up, it activates the track or you that's like encountering a track. Um, maybe every time you feel judged, that's like my judgment hammer. Maybe it's every time you see a teacher or experience, you know, you, you see a teacher, that's a, that's a red ruler. Uh, maybe uh, there's pollen in the air. Maybe it's spring or summer and there's a particular type of pollen in the air. So it, it really could be anything. And, um, but... What happens is with people with Crohn's and colitis and other digestive issues, so let's say this is what this bad grade activated this uh, biological special program. And what happens is, you know, they resolve it. You know, maybe they talk to the teacher and they get the grade boost. They're able to retake the test or, or they get over it, whatever, you know. It gets resolved and then they start to get the symptoms. They start to get the symptoms, they're in the healing phase, and um, so, you know, they start getting all this diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, they're, they're, they're getting rid of that extra gut cell tissue they don't need anymore. The cell removal phase is the conflict active phase. Cell proliferation is the conflict active phase. It's trying to help you digest this indigestible morsel, and then in the, and then when it gets resolved, we're in the healing phase, we're getting rid of these things, and so we're having diarrhea, and we're literally sitting on the toilet with this diarrhea and we're going, what did I eat today that's giving me diarrhea? Oh, I had bread. Oh, I had, I had dairy. Now these things, when, so you can extend tracks uh, when you set on a track. So let's say later um, you see the color red or you, you feel judged or you feel like a failure, whatever, whatever your track might be. It could be an emotion, it could be a thing you see, you smell. It, it could literally be anything that is related 
to, to the original conflict. So the way it gets extended is so you, you're in the healing phase and you're sitting on the toilet crapping your pants, you know, crapping your, crapping your brains out and you're trying to think to yourself like, hey, what's causing this diarrhea? And you're thinking about all these different foods that you ate that day. And usually the first thing people come to is dairy and gluten. That's what they're going to blame because that's what, uh, you know, that's what's popular today. And, and so when you set on a track, that's when you can establish more tracks. So you're sitting on the toilet and you're thinking about what's dangerous, what could have caused this. And it's And so that's how the foods start to get um, registered as tracks. And I've seen people go down this road to where they can only tolerate like four different foods. They're allergic to water. They're allergic to vitamin A foods. I mean, it just gets really ridiculous. All the, the, the food allergies that develop because of extended tracks. And now what you need to do to neutralize these tracks is first identify them. The, first, the big part is identifying them. So diarrhea is very easy to identify. It, I mean, it literally happens moments after you experience the track. So for me, I, I had a, a Crohn's disease and that is, has more of um, you know, the conflict shock that activates there is um, uh, frustration or anger. It's like something you're angry or frustrated about. So my, so my track was whenever I felt overwhelmed or angry or frustrated, I would like instantly need to use the bathroom. So I, f I found that track very fast. And all I had to do was tell myself like, hey, it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be frustrated. I'm safe. Um, you know, I, I could also, it's, it's not avoiding being frustrated for the rest of your life because that's impossible. You know, there, you could handle those situations better, which, which is good to do because it's not good to be like frustrated and let your emotions run out of control. Because I mean, because if you do that, you're, it's actually, it's not a track. It's a, it's an, you're like creating like another conflict. You could be you're like creating like another conflict shock. Um, but you need to tell yourself that it's okay it's okay to feel judged. I mean, you get judged every single day. And a lot of times you could change your perception so you don't feel like you're being judged all the time. Um, you, I mean, if you see the color red and that makes you go to the bathroom, you say, hey, look, the color red is safe. You know, the, the letter F is safe. When I feel judged, it's okay. I'll be all right. Whenever you see your teacher again, I mean, maybe they are a jerk. I don't know, but maybe you know, maybe they, you know, they, they got their whole thing going on. They don't, they don't really know or care half the time. Um, so, again, guys, it, it's. I know it sounds crazy simple, and I'm, I'm kind of done talking, but your symptoms come on right after. Like, if if your symptoms are immediate and kind of seem out of come to kind of come out of nowhere and seem random those are normally tracks things that have been hanging around for a long time things like eczema um, eczema and diarrhea and blood and mucus and like random gut pain that just like come and goes come and goes and comes and goes for years and years and years those are tracks you are stuck in a hanging healing because you keep encountering tracks and you have to identify them and neutralize them. And you can literally neutralize, once you identify them, you can literally neutralize them in minutes. I like to write down five things that, why this thing is safe. Um, you know, you gotta convince your, your subconscious that these things are safe. You've been brainwashed by, you know, YouTubers. I mean, even some of my old videos are, are, are guilty of doing this, that these things are not safe. And they are safe. You are not allergic to energy and nutrients. You're not. I mean, from a survival standpoint, it makes absolutely no sense to be allergic to energy and nutrients when it's in nature. It's, it's quite rare to come by. So, yeah. This is how it all, this is, these are tracks. And I'm starting to see, so... When it comes to digestive issues, I mean, most people are, have food tracks. Like if you believe you're allergic to this or that food, 
it's hands down a track. Hands down. If you think you have a food allergy, hands down a track. Like, end of discussion. Um, so you just have to, I mean, there, it's already identified. Now you just have to neutralize it. Convince yourself that it is safe. And I, I still have issues with um, alcohol and with coffee because I, like, still at my core believe that they're not good for you. So, but, but I know it's in my head. I know it's in my head. Um, I'm trying to gain weight and, um, you know, coffee suppresses hunger and, you know, I'm trying to be more vagatonic, relaxed and coffee makes you more jittery because of the, because of the caffeine. So I like have a hard time convincing myself that it's safe and in alcohol, like I, I don't like the taste, you know, sometimes I, you know, cause you get peer pressured into it and stuff. And, and alcohol is a little bit hard on your digestion, but it, it is, it is completely safe. You know, people have been consuming these things for a long time. I wouldn't recommend these foods when you're going, when you're still like trying to heal and get to where you are. But you know, the, the reason why you react to them and your friends don't, your friends and family don't is because they are tracks. Your subconscious thinks they're dangerous. And when you encounter them, it it runs what when you when you encounter a track it runs the healing and the uh, epithelioid crisis symptoms associated with that program and and that's what happens guys that's trying to warn you um that that there's potentially danger in the area like oh last time we saw the color red we failed a test you know we experienced this indigestible morsel watch out that, that's essentially what the body is doing. You'll see this a lot in movies. It's actually, I, I like to see this in movies when, you know, like someone has like PTSD when they come home from war and they hear a loud, a loud bang and they kind of go Rambo mode. That's, that's essentially what's happening, but you know, like, but of like a different flavor or a different genre, um, depending on like what organ it is. So that's all I have guys. If you want to know like the whole spiel on what to do, like a step-by-step um, laid out protocol, what foods to eat, what foods to avoid, and you know how to do all this German new medicine stuff. Really laid out for you, easy to explain, e you know, easily explainable. I explain it in very simple terms. You know, doesn't matter if you're young, you're old, where you live. You don't need to have access to organic foods. You don't need to buy like a ton of expensive supplements. You know, this all this information is in my uh, rapid gut healing uh, program. And it is, there's a link to it down below. Right now it is $497, but I normally charge $1,000 for it. So uh, once we hit a certain uh, level number of people, we are going to raise the price back up to $1,000. So, and that's gonna happen without warning. So this, this program comes with access to my Facebook group where you'll get coaching from uh, uh, me uh, and three, I have a German new medicine coach. My, my coaches know German new medicine. They have healed themselves of gut issues and they really know what they're doing. They really know ancestral nutrition and they really know their supplements and their disinfectants, uh, their, their herbal remedies. They, they really know their stuff. They have their own YouTube channels. They're, they're really, they obsess, they're obsessed about health and they've gotten results for themselves and many others and we want to help you do the same we also do live q and a's uh, twice a week so i mean this is like the perfect program i mean you can't get this type of value anywhere else if you're going to go get one-on-one -on -one coaching with any other coaches it's going to cost you you know at least like 100 200 an hour and then you, you really can't get like a good follow-up with them with our program, you can talk to us twice a week at these live Q and A's and you can hear from us every single day inside the Facebook group. And you're also going to get feedback from other students who, you know, who have healed themselves as well. So it's a really good program. It's very cost effective and there's, there's nothing, there's, there's no risk whatsoever because you have a hundred percent money back guarantee if you do not you know, get the results that you desire. And it is very easy to do, guys. I show you how to heal your gut with fast as possible with the least amount of effort. And that is all I have for you guys today. Identify and neutralize those tracks. Convince yourself, you know, your, your symptoms are gonna come up 
right after you experience what you encounter the track and then once it's identified tell your tell your subconscious convince your subconscious that it is safe it is okay this thing is okay and if you eat something and you're still like second guessing yourself and guilt tripping yourself afterwards then you haven't convinced yourself enough that this thing is still safe and and you need a little bit more work so and you know there's we could talk about that a little bit more people could do like hypnosis and all these all these types of things but for the most part just having a little conversation with yourself journaling journaling with yourself writing your little diary or whatever that's that's all it takes so that's it bye bye